Today we had a uh, good trade here on the five minute time frame, a typical decaying fractal. Okay, five up. Uh, we grabbed about 18 points there. Now, to follow up on the trade, okay, you have to go from time frame to time frame. We have a typical growth fractal here. It attempted rally and then proceeded to go down. Okay. Now, a good example of a fractal here would be this one here, decaying fractal. And I said the top was going to be 80. That was top tick. Okay. Uh, you can do this all day long. Okay. That's top. Here's the bottom. Okay. Now, currently, it bounced a little, but it's uh, falling back down again. Um, currently, we have another decaying fractal top right here. You see it? How, how to follow up on a trade. Okay, you get the top there, and you got the bottom there. Very typical. All right. Just stop there and do a trade going down. Now, look. Leg, leg, little bump. That's on a five minute time frame. Can we find another one here? Maybe. That's pretty darn close. Leg, leg, little bump, and that's the top. The two minute time frame mirrored the five minute time frame. All right. Here's a fractal, and you have another similarity here. Okay. Now this one here, we've seen it so many times. I mean, you should you should have them memorized. <laughs> so uh, you do a trade here, put a stop uh, around eighty. Okay, uh, went down to uh, seventy one. You got another ten points there. Okay, but the goal is to capture five or ten points and let it go. All right. So I got my ten points. And I'm going to let it go until I get another clear fractal. Uh, generally, you, you'll get the trade uh, early in the morning. Uh, the uh, rest of the day, uh, uh, pretty sloppy. So I prefer just to do uh, a trade in the morning and let go of that. Okay. Again, we're not trying to get greedy. We're only trying to get five or ten points sometimes you get 18 20 okay but the way you have to do that is you have to follow uh the other fractals which are uh evolving here now this one here okay if we uh break uh 72 here that would be uh a continued trend down if we break above uh channel here the trend would be up. That's reversal. Okay. That's a decaying fractal. So today we have a lot, a lot of good examples of uh, fractals, how you can take advantage of them. And do we have any others right now? No. Uh, going to the other time frames on a microgrid. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, that one here on four hour uh i did post that i think yesterday yeah uh it broke uh at times uh you'll you'll get a count trend uh, rally but it's going back down again okay so i expect that to uh fall further uh the uh, bigger picture here again have another decaying fractal uh, and this is what i expect to happen Okay, but uh, being on eight-hour time frame, 
trying to take advantage of that, you'll have to go to the smaller time frames to find an entry point. Okay, so uh, currently right now, uh, if I wanted to do a trade, I probably would uh, look at the five minute time frame. Uh, we break below it here, that would be probably a good entry point. Uh, but on a five minute time frame, we have to be kind of quick. Okay, so um, we did our trading objective of today. And we'll take a look during the day to find another setup. Again, you can do this on any time frame, any market. But uh, we're uh, we're pretty bearish here, and that a Dow slider on a monthly basis is very uh, bearish. Um, let me see if we can pull it up here, like really quick. Uh, it's on indices, and it's the Dow Jones, and we want to go to the monthly, I believe. Okay, there we go. Well, we could go out a little bit further than that. Um, see here, time frame. We'll go out the. We got. Okay. I believe that was a. Uh, it's a slider for me here. Okay, you have to kind of scale it to get the uh, uh, picture. But uh, I'm. In the bear camp here because of the uh, Dow Jones weekly uh, we can't do anything there we'll have to uh, remain with the uh, the monthly okay so again you have to uh, go back and forth looking for a good setup now this one here is pretty good here all right now, uh, assuming that's the top there, um, okay, 76, you're at uh, 74, you have a two-point risk. Now, one event of uh, fractals, you can define your risk. You you know how much money uh, is on a table, and you know when to get out and when to uh, stay in. Okay, it's like a map. We're mapping the market. So, if we break here, we'll go down a little bit further. Uh, however, it's, uh, what, noon? Uh, we have another four hours. A lot can happen, but I would keep your eye on this one here too. Okay. Uh, am I going to go long here? No. Everything else looks kind of bearish. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let it go, and we'll wait for uh, a higher probability trade here. But again, uh, you, you, you'll get the uh, trade early in the morning. Okay. Uh, uh, the rest of the day isn't all that clear. I don't see anything here right now. So uh, keep your eye on this one here, okay? That's how you pull up on a trade. So if you went to, uh, on a trade going down there, uh, it's going to go higher. Uh, I kind of doubt it. But uh, that doesn't really help. Oh, uh, we have another uh, uh, fractal here, too. That's a slider. Again, you may not uh, see them until you scale, okay, the uh, actual chart. And I would deem that as a slider. So you have a lot going on here. And that's why you have to keep going from time frame to time frame. And you can define your risk. You know how much money you're going to risk here. And that's your bottom there. Okay. It kind of broke the bottom. Uh, it's att attempting to go up here. But um, based on the five minute time frame, that's very typical. All right, so if we go above that, that would be a top reversal. 
up. We go down here, that would be a decaying top here. Now we're going back up. Um, you have to watch the spikes. <laughs> the way you do that, uh, again, you have to look at the other time frames. All right. Do we have anything there yet? Nope. Not really. Um, this one here uh, matches this one here. So uh, I think we may halt here around 76. If we hesitate there, that would be a good entry point, maybe uh, a two point stop. And then uh, the trade will fall down like it did over here. Okay. It fell down, broke the channel there. So if you showed it here, um, okay, you're picking up uh, maybe four or five points. That's okay. All right. Now you can do one contract, you can do five, but you better be quick. You can do 10, but you have to know how to place your orders too. So uh, I want, okay, 12 o'clock. Uh, happy Easter or happy holiday. <laughs> holiday and uh we'll see everybody uh, uh sunday monday uh we've been having good luck here lately with fractals again they decline your risk okay you're not going to blow up your account and for nikki signing off